All right, here's my third attempt at making this. My audio is broke. I've got an important call, and so hopefully this works. I've gotten a couple questions on Unit 9, Assignment 0, so I wanted to go ahead and just do a sample problem so that you could see how to do these. Again, I, I have tried to do this a couple times, so um, some of my writing's already filled in for us. I'm doing problem one, uh, y equals x squared plus four. And um, if you, someone was asking about a, b, and c, it doesn't really matter as much on these, but I'll go ahead and tell you a is one, because that's your number in front of x squared. b is zero, because it would be the number in front of my term with just a plain x, but we don't have that term, so we know it must have been zero. And then c is four, because c is that constant that doesn't have an x. So we've got one, would be here. There isn't a number in front of my x, so it's a zero, and so my c is four. We won't be really using these this time, but it's good to know for in the future and good to get in that habit. So the thing we're told to do is we need to graph this equation, and it gives us a table. I'm going to let you know that for all of the problems on this worksheet, these are the x's you're going to want to use. You're going to want to use these x's. Um, and Wednesday's worksheet, it's a little different, but on the unit nine assignment zero, these are the ones that you are going to want to use. Problem seven, you probably want to double these. So that's the only one where you want to use different x values. On all the rest of the worksheet, choose, you could fill these values in right now, um, except for seven. Use these, just multiply times two or double them. So you're going to use four and two, zero, negative two, and negative four. But on every other problem, these are the x's you're going to want to use. I'm just letting you know that now. How do I figure out what the y's are? Well, I take this equation, and instead of an x, I'm going to put a 2 in there. I substitute a 2 in place of the x. So I've got y equals, instead of my x squared plus 4, I'm going to go ahead and put a 2 in there. So I've got 2 squared plus 4. So then you solve that to find out what y is when x is 2. 2 squared is 2 times 2, that's 4. Plus 4 gives me an 8. So when x is 2, I get that y is 8. All right. And so that gives me one point I can graph. I can graph the point 2, 8 on my graph. Now we need to get another point we can graph. So we're going to put a 1 in where our x is. Okay. I always just kind of go like that so I can find my work easier later. So I've got y equals, instead of x squared plus 4, instead of that original equation of x squared plus 4, I'm going to put a 1 in place of x. I substitute a 1 in there. 1 squared, that's 1 times 1, that's 1, plus 4 is going to be a 5. So when x is a 1, my y is a 5. All right, so that's another point you can graph. And you just kind of keep going through on all of these. It's not exciting, but it's not too difficult. All right, so now instead of x squared plus 4, I'm going to put a 0 there. So I've got 0 squared plus 4. Well, that's 0 squared is 0 plus 4. So I know that when x is 0, I'm getting a 4 for y. Um, and then let's do, keep going and you keep going and that's going to give us another 5 and that's going to give us another 8. All right, so then I graph these points. 2, 8 means I'm going to go over 2 and up 8 on the graph. 1, 5. Really, since this is not the first time I've done this, I've already got those filled out. So I go ahead and graph all these points. And so I can see my parabola. I can see where my vertex is. I can see where my axis of symmetry is. I can see that it's got this minimum. And it goes on forever in that direction. And so that's what um, allows me to fill out the rest of this. Now, if you prefer to have your tables in this direction, you can go ahead and create them that way and do it. It doesn't matter. It works the same way. I just wanted to make sure you know that that's okay if you do that. Um, so on this worksheet, we already had the domain and range filled out for us, negative infinity to infinity. Our range, that's our y values. Okay, so our domain is our x's, our range is our y's. Our x's, they're going forever, because this parabola goes on forever. Our range, it doesn't come down here at all. Our range, our y's stop right here. So we know no matter what numbers we choose for x, we're never going to get anything lower than 4, because that's where the vertex is. So our range is going from 4 up to infinity and beyond. Um, we found our vertex was at 0, 4. Um, our axis of symmetry. That's just the equation for the y-axis, because it's symmetrical. 
on the y-axis. And so if the, the equation for the y-axis is just x equals zero. And this parabola has a minimum. It's got this spot where it stops and it can't get any lower. So that's how you would do unit nine, assignment zero, problem number one. Keep letting us know if you have any questions. Thank you.